Hello everyone, this is Vikatna here. So in this video, we are going to see a bilinear transformation problem whose points are having infinity. Okay. Problem. Find the bilinear transformation which maps the points. So these are the points of Z plane having infinity into the points of omega plane. So here also you are having infinity solution. Okay, so given points are z1 equals to infinity, z2 equals to i, z3 equals to 0 and omega 1 equals to 0, omega 2 equals to i, omega 3 equals to infinity. Okay, so here we need to find the bilinear transformation which maps the points of z plane into points of omega plane. So the bilinear transformation is given by cross ratio property formula of bilinear transformation. The bilinear transformation is given by omega minus omega 1 into omega 2 minus omega 3 divided by omega 1 minus omega 2 into omega 3 minus omega which is equals to z minus z1 into z2 minus z3 divided by z1 minus z2 into z3 minus z. Okay. Now we'll see where we are having infinity. So we are having z1 infinity and omega 3 infinity. So what we are going to do is We'll just take it outside the bracket. Okay, so anything by infinity is always zero. Just keep it in mind. Okay, so omega minus omega one. Omega minus omega one into, since you're having omega three infinity, so take it out common as common so you'll get omega 2 by omega 3 so omega 3 into omega 2 by omega 3 will be equals to omega 2 which remains the same nothing will change right minus 1 if you'll take omega common then you'll get 1 here okay divided by omega 1 minus omega 2 into take omega 3 common then you'll get 1 minus omega by omega 3 okay which is equals to, so in the z you are having z1 infinity. So here you are having z1, so take it out, z1 into z by z1 minus 1. So z by z1 into z1 is equals to z, which remains the same. So you can write it in the as z1 into z by z1 minus 1. So 1 into z1 is again z1 into z2 minus z3 divided by here also you are having z1 right. So take z1 common then you will get 1 minus z2 by z1 into z3 minus z okay z2 by z1 okay if you want you can check z1 into z2 by z1 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 gets cancelled so finally this equals to z2 which remains the same okay so 1 into z1 is again 
zebra. Now, this becomes so cancel omega 3 and z1 here. Okay, so finally, you'll get omega minus omega 1 into omega 2 by omega 3 minus 1 divided by omega 1 minus omega 2 into 1 minus omega by omega 3 which is equals to z1 sorry z by z1 minus 1 into z2 minus z3 divided by 1 minus z2 by z1 into z3 minus z okay So now apply the values of omega, omega 1, omega 2, omega 3 and z1, z2, z3. So you'll get w minus omega 1 is 0 into omega 2 i by omega 3 is infinity minus 1 by omega 1 is 0 minus omega 2 is i into 1 minus omega by omega 3 is infinity. So, this is equals to z by z1 is infinity minus 1 into z2 is i minus z3 0 divided by 1 minus z2 is i divided by infinity into z3 0 minus Z. Okay. So this becomes omega minus zero is omega into anything by infinity is zero. So you'll write zero minus one divided by zero minus i is minus i into 1 minus anything by z infinity is 0 which is equals to z by infinity anything by infinity is 0 minus 1 into i minus 0 is i divided by 1 minus anything by z infinity is 0 into minus Z. Okay. So this implies omega into 0 minus 1 is minus 1 divided by minus i can be written as minus 1 into i. 1 minus 0 is again 1. So this equals to minus 1 into i divided by 1 into minus z can be written as minus 1 into z. So here we are going to cancel minus 1. Minus 1 minus 1 gets cancelled and here also minus 1 minus 1 gets cancelled. So you will get omega by i equals to i by z. So you can write it as i equals to sorry omega equals to i square by z. Okay. You'll take omega terms on one side and the remaining terms on the right hand side. Since you know that i square equals to minus 1. So this equals to minus 1 by z. So you got omega equals to minus 1 by z. Okay. Before confirming that the transformation is. By a bilinear transformation, let's verify that omega, sorry, 
the condition AD minus BC is not equals to 0 or not. Okay. Verification. We know that omega equals to AZ plus B by CZ plus D. So we are having omega equals to minus 1 by Z which can be written as minus 0 minus 0 into I minus AZ plus B right. So into Z you will get minus B 0 minus 0 into I plus you have right better. Divided by C into Z. So you are having 1. So you will get minus 1 here. Okay. So you are having Z. 1 into Z plus some 0. Or simply you can write it as 0 minus 1 that is 0 into z minus 1 by like this. So you have a equals to 0, b equals to minus 1, c equals to 1 and d equals to 0 by comparing with this. Okay. So now, we we'll take the condition AD minus BC, which is equals to A is 0, into D is 0, minus B is minus 1, into C is 1. So this equals to 0, minus into minus plus, 1 into 1 is 1. So this equals to 1, which is not equals to 0. So therefore, the condition is not equals to 0. Therefore, AD minus BC is not equals to 0. So we can say that omega equals to 1 by Z is a required bilinear transformation. Bilinear transformation. So this completes the problem. So we have seen a bilinear transformation problem in this video which includes infinity in one point. So hope you will understand. We will see you in the next video. Until then bye bye.